standard. Um, <laughs> hello, everyone. <Hi>. So, <laughs> so great to see you guys. Well, actually, I don't see you, but I know that you're there. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I do something a little different today. Like Russ said, um, it's been my, I want to say, lifelong passion. Um, I've been writing, rhyming poetry since. I don't even know how little I was, but well, I guess I could read and write maybe. But um, and uh, most of my poems are in Russian. Now, don't worry, that time hasn't come yet. You know, that's going to be next time. Something, a song in Russian, <laughs> for lots of requests. Um, but today is going to be the English part, so it's, that's a little bit easier, right? Um, I'd like to tell you one or two poems, which. Um, the first one has been published in this issue of uh, this month's issue of Dallas Writers Journal, and <laughs> oh, thank <you. laughs> thanks. And the other one, uh, well, I was a little bit afraid to submit it anywhere because it's a little more PG-13 than I wanted it to be. So, um, <laughs> um, but before I tell you the first one, I'd like to ask everyone here a question. How many people in the audience think they are successful? <laughs> How many think they're not? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, how? <d> well, how do you know? I, I mean, if you're successful or not? Um, <laughs> right, right. So, well, before you try to give me your best answer, why don't I tell you this poem and then you can decide for yourself, okay? okay. It's called Success. Success. Well, how do you define success? Great job? A lot of money? Yes? Well, that can be by all means success. But other things, do they mean less? What if you have your lifelong friends or hobbies? Well, success depends on how you define and feel, for it can be all gone or real. If you're in love for many years with your true soulmate, it appears. Are you successful? I say yes, for not just money means success. If you have volunteered your time and never earned as much as dime, made people grateful, I would bet success is better this way yet. If you created something fun, discovered or had just begun to find your niche that makes you proud, I'd scream success so very loud. Or maybe sick you are today and do your best to stay okay. Or maybe illness is lifelong pass. You do your best to find success. If you can live the fullest life, this is success, so give me five. You see a person seem so plain. You think they're average in vain. Don't be so quick before you know through what they daily have to go. Don't judge them failure. Who can tell? They may be better than those well. Those in a tie with fancy car. Success can go very far. With giving heart and loving soul and a devotion to the goal, some people share a lot with life, even if making ends they strive. Are you successful? It depends. Where do you think it starts and ends? You may be great and doing fine. Success is how you define. Thank you. And it is my sincere hope that this poem helped someone out there feel better about themselves. And uh, oh, <laughs> thank you. 
And now, you guys, it's your call. Would you like another poem? Yeah. <laughs> the PG-13 one. Um, <laughs> well, this poem is called Life in Paradise. You know, it's interesting, though, for all of us, paradise is this really awesome place where everything is just the way we want it to be. But yet for each one of us, it is something different, something special. Like, I just have one child and I always wanted to have more children. But whatever it is, it is something that, you like your perfect world. And I wrote this poem right after I had a massage session. <laughs> I, <laughs> I totally, totally love massage. <laughs> and uh, thank you. <laughs> and um, I mean, seriously, I haven't left the building yet, and then this poem kind of, because I just felt like I was in paradise, you know, and drive safely and all that stuff. So it's called, What If I Lived in Paradise? What if I lived in paradise? That would be awesome, more than nice. I'd just be doing what feels good, and making love would be like food. <laughs> Three. Three times a day for breakfast, lunch, for dinner. Anyway, a bunch. <laughs> and it'd be followed by massage, a beach, an ocean, like mirage. And my three children would obey. <laughs> be sweet and do all things, I say. And we would have six couples friends and have the fun that never ends. We'd dance, sing songs, and play guitar, tell jokes, and travel very far together, have best things each day. My mood's all perfect, health okay. We'd talk, have parties, have a ball, no chores, no troubles, world so small. We'd be in charge of everything, and all we do is laugh and sing. What if I lived in paradise and every day would be so nice? How would I know how good it is? For I would think it's always this. I wouldn't know another way. It'd be the same thing every day. And then one day in paradise, I'd think that it's no longer nice. There would be nothing to compare. Same fun around everywhere. And I would stop to think it's nice, forget that I'm in paradise. For on this earth, there's bad and good, and it's in contrast understood. And I'm glad when life is fun after my work and chores are done. Um, for it is this that lets me know how good it is for fun to show. And when I do my favorite things, enjoyment that achievement brings. And in my mind, it is so nice. I fly away to paradise. But it is awesome just because I live and work on planet Earth.